Hi there. Do you remember our ogre? Do you remember Puss in Boots? They're still with us. We were talking about shoes. And that two shoes make a pair. We have two feet. So we need two shoes. And in a pair there are two. And we call it a pair of shoes. A pair of shoes. Right. And we spoke about the ogre's very big boots. And we spoke about Puss in Boots. He wore the smartest boots and he was so proud of it. Look at his face. He is so proud of himself. He thinks he is great. A really cool cat. He really is. Now, we have someone new who has come today. This little bunny. I love my little bunny with the very fluffy, furry, soft ears. But I wanted to show you something. Does our bunny wear shoes? Does your doggy, if you have one, wear shoes? Does your kitty wear shoes? I don't think so. I don't think so. But you know what they do have? Look at Bunny's feet. Look underneath Bunny's feet. Can you see he has these brown marks? These brown areas on his feet. Do you know what we call them? We call them pads. Pads. And I want you, if you've got a doggy or a kitty, I want you to look under your doggy's foot and you will see that your doggy also has pads, just like this. And I want you to feel them. Feel your doggy's pad or feel your kitty's pads. And they won't feel smooth like your cheek. Feel your cheek. Your cheek is so smooth. But your doggy's pads underneath his feet will be rough. Not smooth, they will be rough. Because those pads are like his shoes. And your doggy can run around on his pads and that's why they become hard and rough. Because they are the doggy's shoes or the bunny's shoes. Little pads. I want you to look at that and I want you to feel underneath your feet too. And if you go without shoes for a long time in summer and you feel underneath your shoes, underneath your foot, they will be a little bit rough too. So that is very, very interesting. And remember how we counted our toes? Because we've got lots of little toes. And we counted our hands because we've got of little fingers. So do that again with me. You will remember it and try and sing it with me. Okay, two hands up. I like to count my fingers so I start with one, two, three, four, five and then I know I've begun. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then I put my two hands together and count again. I know how many toes I have inside my shoes. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I can choose. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I put my two feet together and count again. I have two eyes to see, two ears to hear, one mouth that can open and close. And hey, diddle, diddle, right here in the middle, my tiny little nose. So we have one little nose, two little ears, one little mouth, and ten little toes. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. So I want you to count your little toes and count your little fingers. All right, I'm going to show you something else. Hi there. 
Look at my board. What do you see? I see two children. A little boy and a little girl. Here is a little boy and here is a little girl. And they are very busy with their fingers and their hands in mommy's kitchen. And it looks as if they are baking cookies or biscuits. They are so busy. I'm sure you also help mommy bake biscuits in the kitchen. It's such fun. But now there's something wrong. Can you see what's wrong? When you bake biscuits, do you remember? What do you do first? What do you have to do first? Hmm? Well, in my kitchen, I first take all the ingredients I need. I need flour, I need milk, I need eggs, I need sugar, I need all those ingredients. And then the first thing I do is I mix them all together and make dough. Can you see a picture where the children are making dough? Cookie dough. Can you see where it is? Is it this one? No. Not that one. Yes! That one tells us that these children are making dough. Can you see the little girl's got the, the roller, the rolling pin, and she's making the dough flat. And the little boy is squeezing the dough. Now, what comes next? Which of these pictures do you think comes after this? After this, when they've made the dough, what do they do? Do they do this? No, that's silly because they haven't cooked them yet. They haven't baked them yet. Are they baking them? What are they doing next year? They are cutting them out. They've got their cookie cutters and they are cutting out the shapes from the dough. So that one comes next. Right. So first they make the dough over here. Next, when the dough is rolled out, they cut out the shapes with their cookie cutters and they put the shapes into the baking tray, ready for the oven. So, what comes next? After this picture, what do they do next? Mm. Are they ready to be eaten? No. I think they need to be baked first. I know you know that. So the little boy puts them into the oven but he is very very careful not to burn himself because you remember ovens are hot and therefore you must be very very careful not to burn your hands. The cookie tray is still cold. So you could touch that, but don't touch the oven. And then the cookies go into the oven when they close the oven door. And they wait for about 10 minutes. And then they open the oven door and they take the cookies out. So what comes after this? After they've taken the cookies out the oven? Yes, the best part happens. They... Eat the cookies, the biscuits. There we go. They're eating the biscuits. That is so exciting. I hope they waited for the biscuits to cool down a little bit before eating them. But well done. We sorted out all those pictures into, into the right sequence. This one came first. This one came second. This one came third. This one came fourth. Just the way you get up in the morning, you get out of bed first, you put on your slippers, and then you go into the bathroom, you wash your face, you brush your teeth, you comb your hair, and then you go and have breakfast. That's right. That's 
Yes, Frank. Thank you, my darlings. But first, before we go, we must practice our counting to ten and back. Are you ready? Loud voice, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's go backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's ten for ten fingers and ten little toes. Bye-bye, my darlings. I love you. Till next time.